Hi everyone, the Mature Simmer here. So, been busy in the office just trying to go ahead and make use of the money that we had from our last load. I'm going to go ahead and hire Marek here. And I'm going to put him at the truck that I just bought in Brampton to fill that out. So we actually didn't have a full contingent of trucks. But at this point, if we go to our garage manager, you can see we've got nine total vehicles operating. Obviously one of them is ours out of Tulsa, which is the only garage that's at 100% productivity. So at this point we've got 168,000 left. That's not even enough to buy a garage and leave it empty, but once again that doesn't make a lot of sense why I'd want to do that anyway. So let me go take a look and see what kind of job we can work on. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this harvester from here in Louisville down to Jackson, Mississippi. It's 554 mile drive, good pay per mile, which is really what my focus is at this point. I've changed my price per distance to be my goal instead of my route length. So let's go work on this. So the first thing we've got is to go and get this, uh, this load. I'm going to go pick it up and then we're going to go ahead and rest because we've only got about 5 hours and 33 minutes. And I should have enough ability to do that because um, I'm it's not an urgent delivery. Turn left. I'm just got to pull out into the road a little more than I'm comfortable doing to get the GPS to tell me where I'm going. But, right. yeah, I'm not sure. I didn't really see or pay attention to who the uh, consignee is to get this from. And go straight on. I have to do that. Can't be staples, is it? But there might be things across the highway. So obviously it's Whoa. Keep right and then turn right. Wow. Alright, well that's a good start. Just make sure this is really accurate. It is, all right. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff here in Louisville, so they are, there's a lot of options. I have my turn signal on. I do not understand. That should not have been a red light violation. That one I protest, but you can't really do that in the game, so. Go straight on. So I think I'm going to exit here. Right? Oh no, not yet. So next, next exit. But I'm going to go ahead and get some. GPS settings done so that I can avoid speeding next time. Keep right ah. and then exit right. It's possible we can uncover the recruiter. The other thing I figured out, I only have four recruitment agencies in total exit discovered. Right. So for all the driving I've done, that's all I've got as a source Turn of drivers. So that certainly explains why we have such a short list of people when we have probably a hundred recruiting agencies that we can discover at this point with all the expansions. So just crossed 4,700 miles on my truck. Not too bad. All right, so if nothing else, there's a place to rest there 
can see it. Um, but you know, I want to make sure that, and this this ends up being a little bit of the challenge sometimes with being an owner operator is as opposed to when we're a contractor even though I don't think in game there's actual time that passes um, usually or, or you will always basically get your full rest time to go ahead and and go and run things let's see where are we going here Alright, so we're just going to go a little further and discover what that is before I go pull in and pick up. Because obviously I don't want to be doing that um, when I don't need to be, because clearly that's a dead-end road there. So I don't want to suddenly take the harvester and then try to turn around. Because if there's one thing, if you've ever hauled this, um, probably in any case if you use that trailer, in real life or in game that is not something you want to be maneuvering more than you need to be so um, this will be the most challenging load I've had certainly since I've gotten my own truck but uh, probably since I've been running this series so these are really challenging trailers to reverse because they have an articulation in the basically right after the fifth wheel and so when you're trying to back them up it's a little bit of a challenge but yes we can see a recruitment agency and we need these so I'm gonna in here. If I had known I was doing that, I might have waited and seen if I got a different, um, a different individual. But it's all right. It's not that Merrick or whoever it was that I hired was that bad. But uh, are they going to stop for me? They eh, sort of. They were slowed down and then decided not to. So you can see exactly my issue here, why I did what I did. Imagine trying to do this with a, wow, a giant trailer attack. Well, this is not helpful because I just negated everything by pulling forward. All right. determined here in Louisville, obviously, if I just don't go, they're never going to let me go. They're not very, very nice. Right. Alright, so this should be my pickup point, this Archer Daniels Midland facility here. I'm assuming it's back in the shed, but Let's take a look. There we go. Now that's the tractor, which is going to Lafayette, Indiana, but significantly less. So I'm going to take this job. All right, it's not there. Where is it? Ah, it's over there somewhere. All right, well, I see it on the map that on my GPS, but I don't see where it is, so yeah, that would have been the tractor if we took that. Aha! So, definitely some some significant excitement here with these flags and everything. They're, they're very festive in this yard. Alright. Let's get connected up. Okay, here we go. Alright, so I don't have a ton of extra time. But yeah, it should be less than a day. But it's got 27 hours. Um, so 
again, we're going to find somewhere. It may not be right here in town, although I don't know why I wouldn't go there unless it just really isn't sending me in that direction. But we should be heading out. I'm going to reset my trip, my trip uh, mileage again so that we know exactly what we've got here. So again, we've got some significant distance, and even that, I got hooked. This guy, can he not see what is happening here? I swear, these drivers here in Louisville, not the brightest tools in the shed. Alright, well, this is going to be an interesting one, for sure. Alright, good news is no one was there. Because I need a lot of room to turn. We'll take a look at what we've got when we go rest. I'll give you a view of the configuration of their load. Because as I said, it's definitely interesting. But these loads are the type of things that is why I configured my tractor the way I did. Because as you can see, this is really not struggling at all to pull this thing, but this is not the smallest load out there by any stretch. So unfortunately I was hoping I could get through both of the lights. Obviously that didn't happen. So we will go ahead and do what we need to do to wait. But this is kind of the challenge with trying to rest. But the good news is, you know, it'll be 7 a.m. when we get going. And according to Sim Dashboard, it's nine and a half hours to deliver, which means this should be an entire daytime run finally, which will be a nice change from what we've had. Sad thing is, we're here in coast to coast map and there's not going to be likely much to take a look at once we get outside of cities like Louisville here. Ah, looks like we're getting some rain, but maybe it'll be gone. Oh boy, this is a truck headquarters. This does not help me. I can't rest here. It's not going to let me. All right. So, I'm going to go here where I've got a bigger field, and I'm going to try to turn around. And then I guess we'll have to find somewhere else to rest. So, hopefully this will work. We're far enough from that pole. Uh, hopefully that car won't get too close. Alright, well, let me turn on my wipers, because I don't have a choice. I didn't realize this was a truck headquarters. If I had enough money, it might be like, yeah, we'll go ahead and buy it, even though this isn't the one I want, but it is not what I am able to work with. Oh, we're going to have to wait for a whole other cycle again here, because obviously it's before we're let go. That green arrow is going to be long gone. this is where we want to get on. So, and a little bit of a challenging beginning here, thinking I'm doing all kinds of smart stuff, and here I'm really not. Alright, I just wanted to make sure this is where it was taking me, because it wasn't saying turn left. Well, either way, we'll still be delivering in the day, I'm sure. It's just hopefully we won't have to go too far before we can rest. Yeah, I could have taken the chance, because I think it was 16 hours till this job expired. But I'm not entirely sure. I think sometimes, like, the jobs can still be taken by the AI in the game. And 
obviously then that is a problem because then we'd be there and the job would be gone. speed up the ramp to turn on my cruise, but I'm also going to be switching and, and exiting right here right away. So I guess it's questionable whether I really even want the cruise, but I'm going to put it on because it just tends to operate a little bit more smoothly. But you can see here so we're only in our 15th speed here, 15th gear, so we have that ability with the gearbox to cycle through and climb up through the gears and actually move along at a pretty good clip. Because, you know, it'll be a little while before we get up to 18, it looks like. Don't know if we'll quite hit 50 before we switch. It looks like we will. Alright, so we're keeping an eye out for somewhere to rest. We head out of Louisville and start heading south toward Jackson, Mississippi for a bit. Yeah, now it's having a little bit of a problem with the gears. It's in 15. And then continue straight on. Okay, I'm assuming that's accurate. It is. Hopefully, there we go, now it'll switch up and then I imagine it will get us to 18 at some point before long and then we'll be moving along in top gear. There we go. So we dropped down from 60 to 59 for a second, but now we're towing ahead. Once again, this isn't, I'm sure, a light load. We'll see if we get weighed. But this is going to take a bit of time to get up to speed. So I'm you know, going to go 75. I tend to go 5 to 7, really 5 above speed limit. But if the speed limit is unique like it is in Mexico or, or Canada, because it's kilometers translated to miles, you know, then maybe I'll push it a little bit more, but it seems, it seems that we can go seven uh, without getting a ticket, but to be extra safe, I tend to do five to try to minimize that. So this should be a pretty smooth change. I'm hoping we're not heading into nothingness, because... I think that's just the way the coast-to-coast -coast map looks. That there's this strip of land that we're on, but then uh, hopefully we're not going to find something where we fall into a hole. This really looks like it might actually just be a farm, or maybe it's just really bad yellow scrub. I don't know. All right, well now we're maxed out listening to the rhythm of the rain, wondering where we're going to be able to stop. So we do have 873 miles of fuel. We only need a little over 500 miles till we get there at this point. All right, Visitor's Center, I think is what that shows on the mini-map, so I'm hoping that means we can stop, but maybe it's just a uh, border crossing or something. Don't know what it is. It's nothing. Hmm. Not sure why that was there. Saw nothing around me. So yeah, those lines do some weird stuff. 
on the windows. It like looks like stuff is sprouting out of the ground, but it's not. It's just water distorting what we're seeing. All right, well, this is going to be not quite the plan I had. I was hoping we'd be driving in daylight. I was looking forward to that. And instead, we're, we're just pumping along here. Let me zoom out a bit. Oh, that's just Western Kentucky Parkway. There is just nothing nearby to rest. But I've got to rest somewhere. All right, so I think... I might need to do is go here to Paducah because that's really the closest down here at Murray doesn't make a lot of sense although or do I go to Hopkinsville let's see there's not gas yeah, Paducah, I think, still looks better because it has gas and a rest thing together. So, we'll do that. So complicated trying to figure out what to do here. Go straight on. Not a fan of you, sir. You beep my kitty horn. Make sure you know I'm here this giant harvester bearing down on you. Just surprised because I'm already almost going, now I am going 75 and it's not as if he's moving quite that fast. I assume he's going to pull over here in front of this bus. And then we'll be able to move along so all right so yeah it's just western kentucky parkway so i didn't realize that was the road sign instead of being an interstate of some sort so i think it said it was in, well but it might have been interstate 65 until we started going east west i don't think we're past yet now i think we're clear Last thing I want to do is get in an accident for nothing. All right. So we're going to continue for a bit here. Get our get stuff turned off. So this is finally Madisonville. I don't know if we'll get any kind of discovery without exiting, but we'll find out obviously shortly. Looks like there's a few poises po places here. I was going to say points, but all right. So yes. So that means at some point we could start there, but of course we wouldn't start there unless we finish near here anyway. So but the difference is, like, say I'm going to go to Paducah. Like if I decide there's just a better load in Madisonville that's not that far over. I mean, yeah, I'll have to drive over here empty, but, um, you know, be able to do that for certain. All right. So I think that's 24 coming in from the south on the left that we're seeing, and then that's the point where we're going to want to head over and go to Paducah. But yeah, we'll have gone 150, 200 miles by the time we get there. So definitely not. All right, so we're gonna get on 24, but then in instead of exiting immediately at the next exit, which is what we would have been doing, we're going to head to Paducah, which is another town in Kentucky and probably just to get the opportunity and 
go around the block a little cleaner. We'll see what the exits are like. Maybe I'll change my mind, but it looks like if I go around a block there, I can get another recruiting agency. So I'll have gone from four to six in this trip already, which is awesome. Because that will give me 50% more recruiting capability. So instead of seeing, I think we see six people now, maybe we'll see nine. We'll get onto a third screen. Not quite sure how that works, but we'll find out. But right now, it's going to be a few jobs before I'm ready to hire someone else anyway. Go straight on. All right. So yeah, so this is actually where I would have turned. It's probably going to then say adjusting route or whatever after we cross here. Because it's going to realize it didn't really want me to go straight on. Okay. Let's find a new route. Yep, there you go. So that's the confusing part. Now you've witnessed it with the GPS of what happens where it clearly told me to go straight. And then suddenly it's like, okay, finding a new route. I'm like, I went where you told me to. What happened? And yes, Paducah is near the border, so this is not unexpected here. Turn left. All right. Just need to swing out enough again. You can see how that trails it's it's definitely a challenge now I hope to dear God this isn't another garage this will be too much if it is and there's clearly somewhere else to rest but um, I'm just hoping since it was a Texaco it's like a fuel stop gas and somewhere to rest so But you can see the speed limit here in theory is 65, and that usually means then the time doesn't really change. All right. Yes, this looks good. So it's a TA, Truck Stop, or Travel Centers of America. So we can also ship from here, probably deliver fuel, stuff like that. So whenever I'm here... Whenever I have the chance, I am going to top up so that I don't have to worry about filling up other times when it may be a struggle. Obviously, it's going to use up some money doing that, but that's all right. Not an insignificant amount, $379, so it'll take us below $166,000 in the bank. But now we can go rest. See if it lets us do it in the middle of the road. Doesn't look like it. Oh, it does. It's all right. That's good. So I'll take advantage of that. All right. Not a bad morning. So Brandon returned. Brandon is leveled up. Jana returned. You know what? I just realized. Oh, and there, and Mar Marek may have leveled up, and then he'll, he did, so he'll have done something else. So let me go to the driver manager here. Because I need to set Marek to long distance for a bit. I need him to get one more. So he would have been done, and then I could have put him to balanced, but I forgot. I was sloppy in my HR department. And so he went ahead and took himself the ability to get another kind of load. I forget what he had unlocked already. But now you can see behind us we've got... A recruiting agency around the block there so we're gonna go ahead is he gonna turn in 
Uh, he's not, but I'm already sticking out in the road, so I go ahead and go that way and then cycle over here. But now you whoop, 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 whoop. I don't want to cycle over here. This is, oh boy. Well, this is going to make things interesting. Let's see. Can I fix my problem here? Probably not. I'm going to hit that stop sign. Can't really back up much or I'm going to back into him. Alright. So, you can see how this thing is behaving. So, as I said, we'd take a look at it when we rested and shame on me, I didn't. But watch this behave now so you can see how it articulates not only at the hitch but a little further back. So this is where it makes it a real challenge to try to um, maneuver those in any way. But you know, the nice thing is we've got a few places here. They're putting up a building. There might be some loads we can get there. Nobody coming there, nobody coming there, and yes, a recruitment agency. The stuff of trucking legend as we are expanding our empire. Getting some good old Kentucky boys and girls potentially added to our stable of drivers. Would not be a bad thing. Of course what we had gotten in Louisville or whatever. Wherever we had unlocked the other one, I think it was Louisville. It was, because it was after, just before we picked up the harvester. Um, that's Kentucky as well, so we've got a couple recruitment centers in Kentucky now working with us. Get ready to turn left. And that should help. Certainly ain't gonna hurt. Alright, so this road's a little bit busier. Alright, looks like we're clear on that side. Wow, this guy is... Move in. Alright, he's gone. I think we're good. Just kind of keep checking all my spots. So yeah, we've got the Home Depot, we've got the Walmart, we've got FedEx. Like, this is a, this is a good town. To have available. So, so between that and Madisonville, we've got a couple Tesla locations here. This is a plethora of excitement. Alright, so I'm assuming I'm going to need to go left here. Let me check. No, I'm actually going to go straight and then go to 69. Alright. So, let me move over here, because he's Close just right taken on. off. And I want to get through these lights. And it is 65, and now it's 70, so... Not going to be shy about moving along. Alright, so, 371 miles. 6 hours, 23 minutes. We've got over 13 hours till our required rest break. So, we are good. So, we should be there... 4 5 p.m. just in time to go find ourselves some grub for dinner all good stuff so I'm excited hope you're excited but yeah that is a ugly looking harvester I will tell you it's like it's like it's raw and unpainted maybe it's you know Maybe that's how they transport them, but you would think, because it almost looks like it's rusting. Right. Alright, that is a Missouri plate, so... I think we can see it better there. Or Kentucky? Why am I saying Missouri? I'm saying Missouri because that's what my brain said, but we're in Kentucky. Alright, so I'm going to swing a bit wider again because that light pole, traffic, light, whatever it is, is going to be closer than I'd like. And there we go. 
Alright, I am floored in my truck, but these ramps are steep. So, 7th gear, 8th gear, get a little quicker, 10th gear. I just wish it wouldn't switch that fast, because it's like just keep pulling for a bit. Get some momentum. Alright, but now we should be moving along. And it tells me 18 minutes in real time to be done. So probably with all the stuff that was going on, probably still well over half an hour, might be a 45 minute episode anyway for this quote unquote short run. But obviously it's, you know, a third of the, well, it's 20% of the length of what we had just done out of Mexico at 2,500, so. But I was going to say like a 1,500 mile run, it's like a third of that, so. Either way, still pretty good, and the pay we're getting per mile, I'll take it. Because, yeah, taking short ones when you're getting maybe 10 a mile or something, that's a little harder to stomach, but still not. I mean, it's, it's pay, right? I'm getting paid what I'm getting paid because of the high value of what I'm transporting. So it was high value cargo and important are our... Wow, he's really wanting to get over. Is he exiting? No, he's just really wanting to get over. All right, exit one. I don't know if it's the last exit in Kentucky or the first exit in Tennessee. Looks like last one in Kentucky. So, so there we go. Not sure if we're going to go through Memphis here or not. But Tennessee welcomes us. Do you feel welcome? I do. This is a sliver of a state passing through at north-south. Uh, get done in a couple hours at most, so this will not take a long time. Because right now we're going southwest, but then I think if I recall from the world map when we took the job, we're looking at almost straight south then to get us into Jackson. So, again, not a lot of visibility here. This isn't really an interstate, or if it is, it's mixed with a U.S. route. So we got U.S. Route 51 that we're on here. Not seeing any interstate shield. But yeah, I think with the pay we're getting, this should get us above 200000 But it doesn't make sense, again, to buy a garage. The only time it would is if we have a situation like we did where we need to rest and we're coming up on something different there to, to go ahead and, and be able to use it as a rest spot. Is accurate. It is. Alright, so we'll do that. So that'll be good because either way, then we'll discover Dyersburg. But I figured the way it's positioned, we would find it anyway. Whoops. A little too far out. Alright. Man, these guys are going. Is he turning? Alright, he is. He's coming though, so I gotta get... Whoa, 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 whoa. Did not see him. That's why you keep checking. Because sometimes things that were in some blind spot, suddenly you're not blind anymore. Alright, so I think we just head south this way. And get ourselves down to Jackson. Not sure where in Tennessee Dyersburg is. Obviously it's on the western side a bit. 
Memphis is pretty much right on the Mississippi River, so... But that doesn't mean we're not still heading down that way. But it's not worth a worth a look at the map. We'll see what we'll see, and we'll be passing wherever we're passing. So, all right. So I'll shrink myself down to 70 here because this is only a 65 speed limit. So once again, not looking to have any kind of fine for speeding here. And amazingly, this one's taken a bit of time. So we're really not... We're about at the halfway point right now of our journey. But 14 minutes of real time, so this should still be quicker because we're doing less exiting, less stopping, resting, and so forth. But yeah, a couple hours more of driving under our belt. So down to four and a half hours till our estimated arrival for delivery. But yeah, it is. Uh, does take a bit of time to get ourselves up to speed here. It's interesting though, according to my compass, we're, st we're still going southwest, and obviously now we're going to be turning more west. Ooh, big milestone, 5,000 miles on the truck right there. Right. Right. Alright, well, I think that is just... The only place we can go. I don't think that's Vancouver, um, Canada. I don't know what that is. Huh, looks like we got a train moving along there. Pretty nice. All kinds of modes of transportation. Stuff we can definitely haul. Walmart and Best Buy containers. Alright, so maybe now is where we're gonna head south, although this still tells me I'm going southwest. So the Fort Vancouver National Site. Hmm. Unfamiliar with this. Don't know what that is. It's an old Revolutionary War fort, or an old Civil War fort. Don't know. Alright, Little Rock and Nashville. So yeah, we may be heading to Mississippi here, because 40 does go east-west. It's a pretty big artery. Alright, at least no, uh, no strange problems, no detours I need to go on. That's <laughs> I'm waiting for that to happen. There we go, Memphis. Alright, but we've already discovered Memphis before didn't recall that, but in any event, so we're about halfway north-south through Tennessee at this point. And now we're headed south according to the compass. And yes, we should definitely just keep moving this way. Ooh, we're actually down to 60, but hoping once we get out of the city that's going to change, so... I'm going to try to keep my momentum going here. If it doesn't, I'll adjust accordingly. Once we get out of the clover leaf a bit here. Granada, 55 south. 55, I do know from living in that area, goes up to Chicago. So I'm assuming this is going to put me in Mississippi here, is what that sign is going to tell us. Yep. So this is our last state crossing. Alright. It is not slowing down, so, or speeding up, so we will slow down to 65. So he's got some sort of vessels or tanks that he's hauling. 
course now, there we go, now it goes up 10 miles an hour. Just my luck. That's alright, it's flat enough here. Should be able to accelerate and make that up pretty quickly. Alright, so we're now on 55. So we did join an interstate. Or at least now get shown that we're on an interstate if we were on one the whole time. Not sure, but going through Memphis there could have been a lot going on there. A little bit of at least something different. We got some farms, we got some utility poles, different kinds of trees. So we spent whoever modeled this part of the country did a little bit more work here. So that's nice to see. Alright, exit 255. Oxford, I think, is what the bottom one said. Something with a B for the second of the top one. I couldn't read it. Maybe we'll be able to see here. So this is Batesville. I think I've heard of Batesville, Mississippi. Is that where? Oh, train. No, oh, Bates Motel is Psycho. I was like, is that where Psycho is? But no, Batesville might be something else. All right, Jackson, 137. We'll hit Granada before that. Less than an hour, just 46 miles to Granada. So, yeah, and we got a little bit of that kind of Spanish moss looking type of trees, at least. Oh, cattle. Fries. They're an appliance store down south. I visited them a time or two. Kind of strange, listed with the pharmacy, but. Unless they've changed. That's what they used to be. So it's interesting. There's even mile markers. We just passed mile marker 235. So definitely more done down here. Alright, harvester sitting out there. Ready to keep doing some work. Again, ATS is a bit timeless as far as what time of year we're in. I mean, in theory, it's always summer. So you wouldn't... Ooh. Little police car sitting out there. Not sure what happened there. Alright. Thomas... Ah, oh, I couldn't find a job. Oh, of course. Of course he does this to me. What a guy. What a guy. Alright. He's gonna cut, cut me off. Just watch. Hopefully I'll stay over there now, because that would not be good. I don't know why he moved over to the left lane, but he did. Oh, big rock or something. There you go, 205, some more rocks. Some old farm sheds out there to the left. More cattle. I don't know if Mississippi's known for cattle. Maybe they are. Maybe that's why they put them on the map. Clearly they're known for rocks. There's a lot of those around. Don't want to drift off the road here. Alright. Durant. And then Jackson. So it says less than a hundred miles to Jackson, but we've got over a hundred to deliver, so we must be going past Jackson and delivering south of Jackson. Going to the BNSF depot, I assume, where they're going to then put this thing on a train and maybe take it somewhere else, and maybe some other trucker gets to do the final delivery, but it doesn't look like this is going going anywhere final here. This is just a, a segment of its journey. Alright, hopefully we won't get any recalculating or recomputing the route. 
I didn't check, but as I said, I kind of know that we had to keep going this way. 165. So it looks like maybe every five miles or something they put the mile marker in. Or every 10. Because I'm not sure that I saw like a 160. I think I see the fives every once in a while. Little water tower. Interesting little blue building there. I guess it's a barn slash workshop. Macomb. 112, so... There's not anything south of Mississippi. Not anything you can drive to, anyway. So... Macomb should be there. Now, of course, it could go to a neighboring state. But we're getting there. Trek bikes. I'm assuming this is good old Jackson. I know it's a big city in Mississippi for sure. Certainly, obviously, down south here. But we've got a little ways yet until our delivery point. So we're not getting off anywhere here. Which again means maybe we won't discover Jackson, which is always not fun when you're doing these kind of deliveries. But then again, we might discover it when we go do a pickup, because that'll be a bit different than what we've had with the other contracting jobs, where then we're just starting somewhere else. Well, this is definitely a very complex interchange here. A lot going on, a lot going on. Alright, Hyatt Regency truck. I am doing that. Almost looks like a Vegas interchange or something. California. He's in the wrong place. I haven't looked at the local police cars like the one that flagged us down because we are running that U.S. police car pack, so it should have been some local or at least appropriate state police officer that flagged us down. Alright, down to 18 miles, so we should be seeing it on the map soon. I haven't even seen the word Jackson appear on the mini-map. It's a little crazy. Alright, so I'm assuming we're exiting here at McDowell Road. Because, yeah, we're down to 10 miles, 9 miles. Right. And then exit right. Definitely, definitely. I'm assuming exit this, I think it's a Toyota Yaris, is getting off here. Get ready to turn right. Gotta love them good brakes, because I was moving pretty quick again. Long line of cars to end this one up, but we will be delivering, and it'll be good. It's always good to stop and get paid and get experienced. Alright, again, I want to be careful. I don't like, take out the stop sign if I can avoid it. Do I really want to do that? Alright, well, I did discover Jackson. Alright, well, I will do what it says, because I'm hoping he's telling me that, because then I can kind of drive straight in instead of the approach I would have. No, I won't be able to do that, because I can see it, like takes me up and around, but it looks like maybe we'll be able to drive through the yard. Alright, so it's going to take me up this way, then have me go left. And once again, I'm pretty sure this is just going to be a pull in and a line. Hopefully we'll be able to do it. If not, we'll obviously skip it. So this was supposed to be 554, but I've only got, according to my tripodometer 512 
So, not sure. All right, Thomas K. Very tiny job. It's the guy who came back and couldn't find a job to begin with. That might be because he keeps taking crazy little jobs to little one-horse towns that then aren't shipping stuff back to where he's coming from. So we'll have to see, because we may then need to expand his distance. Because if he keeps coming back empty, that's the kind of stuff we'll have to keep in mind. Because there's obviously not enough spots. Here we are. Safe and sound. All right. So I'm assuming we're not going to be in the middle of the train tracks there. So I'm going to head this way. Yeah, I can see it blinking up ahead. All right. So we're just going to line up next to one of the cranes that load the cars with tractors or containers. All right. I think I'm lined up, so I should hopefully be getting my bonus for parking. There we go. All right, let's drop it. Five thirteen. All right, so we got long distance, high value, urgent delivery. Oh, just short. Didn't quite get there. 150 more experience points. Would have been close. The extra 40 miles, we would have gotten probably 60 or 70 more, but it wouldn't have really been what we needed. All right. Well, thanks for coming along. Got that harvester delivered, 218,000. Enough for a garage, but not enough for a truck. So we're going to hold off, and I will see you next time.